The Lawrence School Sena, situated in Himachal Pradesh, was founded in the year 1847 by Sir Henry Montgomery Lawrence, KCB, a British military officer, administrator, statesman, and a philanthropist in British India. Considered as one of the finest boarding schools in India, it is arguably one of the oldest co-educational residential schools in the world. The school was originally opened as an asylum for orphans. The main aim of Sir Henry Lawrence was to rescue children from the heat and the danger of barrack life in the plains and give them a home in the hills. Keeping in mind the safety and the security of these children, Sir Henry Lawrence searched for a suitable location from Sabatu to Gasoli, but Sanaa was found to be the most ideal location. In this mission, he was ably helped by Major William Hodson of Hodson's Horse, who supervised the construction work of the school buildings in the initial stages. A big monetary help for building the asylum came from Maharaja Gulab Singh of Jammu and Kashmir in 1846. He donated 1 lakh rupees to the asylum. Sir Henry Lawrence also donated a sum of 5,000 rupees from his own pocket. In appreciation of the services of old boys in the First World War, His Majesty King George V was pleased to confirm the asylum the title of Royal and redesignated as the Lawrence Royal Military School, Sana. After independence, the bulk of the staff and the children at Sana returned to the UK. However, the then Governor General, Lord Mountbatten, presided at the school's centenary celebrations in 1947 and read out a special message from King George VI. Thereafter, the control of the school passed from the Crown to the Government of India, Ministry of Defence and further, in 1949, to the Ministry of Education, the Government of India. The Government of India retained the name Lawrence in the title and henceforth it came to be known as the Lawrence School Sana.
The school chapel is Sanar's oldest existing building. It was designed by Reverend William John Parker, the first principal of the school. The foundation stone was laid in 1850 and the chapel was opened on the 17th of September 1851. The architecture of the chapel is breathtaking. It reminds us of European buildings, especially buildings in England. The war memorial was established in the proud memory of the old scenarians who fell in war. It reminds the present students that at the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. The war memorial is a symbol of the supreme sacrifice made by the scenarians for safeguarding our country. Second Lieutenant Arun Khetrapal, an old scenario of the batch of 1966, is the youngest officer recipient of the Paranveer Chakra, India's highest gallantry award. For his supreme sacrifice at the age of 21 during the Indo Pak War 1971. The main academic building of the school is known as the Birdwood School. It is named after Field Marshal. William Riddle Birdwood, the then Commander-in-Chief of India. The lush green and pristine school campus spread over 139 acres rich with diverse flora and fauna offers the students marvellous opportunities for experiential learning. The campus indeed serves as a vibrant curriculum for the teaching learning community of Sanaa. Perhaps the most well maintained and elegant building in the school is the imposing Parker Hall. It was constructed in the year 1873 and was converted into a library in 1980. Parker Hall houses more than 30,000 books and it is a veritable museum of various old machines, coins and memorabilia.
the buggy near the master's dining room was used by Sir Henry Lawrence as a medium of transportation in olden days. The buggy was last used by Sri Rajendra Prasad, the first president of India, when he visited Sanaa as the chief guest in the year 1981. Post Office in Sanaa is perhaps one of the oldest post offices of India. It is a part of the rich school heritage. In addition to this, Sanaa has the privilege of an antique printing press which is still fully functional. Major Som Dutt was the first Indian headmaster of the school. He laid the foundation for the school as it exists today. Mr. Bhupinder Singh was a legendary deputy headmaster and history teacher at Sana. His dedication towards the school was exemplary. The campus in Sana is very well covered. Covered passages to all the dormitories come handy as Sana gets a lot of rain during the monsoons. Sana has four houses namely Himalaya, Nilgiri, Shivalik and Vindhya. The four houses compete amongst themselves for inter-house events and students belonging to the houses take great pride in representing their house. Warm greetings from the Lawrence School, Sanal. At Sana, we believe in service, we believe in the duty of care, we believe in integrity, we believe in character and serving the nation and the world. This is a school that's 175 years old and we pride ourselves in our alumni and yes, in real time, we are building good human beings so that they can serve as a resource to build the future. This is a school where second Lieutenant Arun Khetrapal Parambir Chakra studied and to this day we believe in the same values that he upheld. This year we were adjudged as the number one co-educational residential school in the country by Education World. That doesn't mean we're going to rest on our laurels. This means that we are inspired, we are ignited, and we are ready to go the extra mile. We just finished with the Hodson's Runs, in which every student has a chance to compete with themselves so that they are fitter, faster, and more resilient. We have many sports. This includes cricket, soccer, tennis, chess, boxing, basketball, athletics, and swimming. There are many hobbies which the students enjoy. This includes carpentry, bamboo craft, band, art, sculpture, fashion designing, music, Indian classical dance, and Coding. We are very happy that along with our traditions, we also are open to the idea of a new world, which is a world in which every student and member of our community needs to embrace technology. We have a coding club, 
we have girls who code, we have an innovation vertical, we have robotics and we have AI, which every student from grade 5 to 10 studies. We have the SNA MUN in which nearly 40 schools take part, both from India and overseas. In addition to the model United Nations, our students are fond of debating, declamation, poetry recitation, and not only in English, but also in Hindi. We are a school that is set amidst 139 lovely acres in the hills. The facilities here include an infirmary, a central dining hall, Parker Hall, which is not only a library, but also a museum, AI labs, computer labs, a holiday home, which is not really for holidays, but for hobbies. And yes, along with studies, we believe that hobbies and sports are essential to build a well-rounded human being. We have many clubs. Just recently, the students founded the Commerce Club, the Legal Society, the Sana History Club, and the Writers Club. We also have a Happiness Club in which anyone who is feeling a bit low or depressed may be cheered up. I'm very happy to share that in the last three years, many students have written books on their own. Just the other day, we published the Sana Odyssey, which is a volume in which creative writing has been showcased over the last 101 years. We are a very proud member of the Round Square and this year in June, we are having a Round Square conference at Sanaa. We also encourage every student to take part in socially useful, productive work in which we serve not only our community of learners, but also the world around us. In a nutshell, all of us here at Sana are very happy to serve the larger community and of course to ensure that the world is a better place for the future generations. COVID-19 was a challenging time for the whole world indeed. But the Lawrence School Sana truly lived up to its motto, never given. The school's wonderful initiative to start FVLP help the students to pursue their academic excellence in a very smooth manner. The Lawrence School Sanar also reached out to the community in tough times by carrying out the charitable activities and donating to the needy. Quizzing culture among scenarians keep them abreast about various happenings in different fields. Every year, students have backed the top awards in quizzes. Hikes and Camps is a mandatory event in the school fixture where the whole school goes out for adventurous treks and activities, thereby enriching the experience of the students. On May 21, 2013, a team of students from Sanar created two world records for being the youngest team and the only school team to scale the Everest. In keeping the Sanar's adventurous spirit, an all-girls team, including seven girls and two members of the staff, made it to the top of the highest mountain of Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro, in 2019.
Yoga is the way of life to keep body and mind in good spirits. Students participate in yoga enthusiastically and their yogic postures are a treat to watch. Fire drill is a necessary activity which is carried out in the school regarding the safety measures. All students are trained to learn this skill so as to become acquainted with the safety measures in the school. Sonar band is unique in itself. Students are formally trained to handle the instrument. Performance of the school band on various school functions, especially during Founders, is definitely a great delight to the audience. Girls band is also a wonderful event to look forward to during Founders. NCC Parade is the real highlight of the Founders. It is a testimony of their mental and physical strength. Trooping of the school flag is one of the main attractions of the Founders. There is magic in a place like Sanar with 175 years worth of memories and stories to tell in its hallowed halls. And I for one am proud to carry on this legacy. For many, Sanar is the second home, but over the years it has become my first home. It made me who I am today, a proud representative of my families, both biological and academic. Sanar has taught me to fight the good fight and to never give in. The Lawrence School Sanar is the proud alma mater of many eminent men and women who have made their mark all over the world. Having a deep connection with service to the nation and the armed forces, the gallantry awardees who studied at Sanar 
include the second lieutenant Arun Khetrapal, PVC, the youngest officer recipient of the Paramvir Chakra. The alumni of the school hold prestigious ranks in all three departments of defense and in the police force. Notable alumni include Admiral Vishnu Bhagwat, Lieutenant General Ajay Singh, Rear Admiral Monty Khanna, Major Abhilasha Barak, Mr. Omar Abdullah, Mr. Naveen Chawla, Mr. Sani Mehta, Ms. Menka Gandhi, Mr. Parikshit Sahani, Mr. Sanjay Dutt, Mr. Jesse Bhattal, Ambassador Taranjit Singh Sandhu, Justice Rajiv Bhalla, Mrs. Kiran Nadar, Mr. Puneet Ranjan, Mr. Dushant Chatala, Rao Indrajit Singh, Mr. Shiv Keshwan, and many more. Thank you.